Honey, I think the garbage man is trying to kill us! Garbage Truck Simulator is an absolute joke of a game with horrible controls, an awful premise, and really annoying micromanagement, horrible graphics, and one of the worst game cameras you will ever encounter in your life. It is an absolute contender for not only the worst PC game of all time, but the worst game of all time, period. First of all, let's just get the technical problems out of the way. When you first start creating your profile, the game just crashes and you don't know how to start it. You apparently have to ignore the game crashing pop-up and just keep pressing OK or Cancel or different combinations of the two until you're thrown to the game. Let's make our logo a toilet. That seems fitting with where this game belongs. The name of this game should have also been changed. They should have taken out the truck simulator portion out of the name to make it more fitting with what the actual gameplay is. It's horrible. So you make your profile, and before you can begin your lucrative garbage collecting career, you're thrown into this management screen, where you're basically managing a private garbage firm. You have to hire garbage men, buy garbage trucks, appoint garbage men to the garbage trucks, activate the garbage trucks, and then choose a mission for the garbage men you hire, but not all missions require the same garbage truck. So a lot of the time you'll buy a garbage truck, but you can't use it because this mission needs a different garbage truck. So what do you do? You have to go into the accounting section and take out another loan. But you have to keep in mind there's a limit to how many loans you can take out. You in fact start the game with no money at all. So you have to take out a loan regardless. I ended up buying some garbage trucks which I can't even use, like really expensive ones. And those are just kind of sitting there collecting dust. So you hire the garbage man, you appoint them to a truck, you activate the truck, and you're thrown into the game. And this is where this little tedious micromanaging minigame seems like Uncharted. Because the gameplay is horrific. This game has possibly the worst driving controls I have ever seen in my life. The turning is just so jerky. There's no fluidity to the driving. You're constantly crashing into other cars. You can't stop when you want to. The garbage truck takes forever to start going. And get this, this is the funniest part. When you destroy public property, you lose a little bit of money, like you run into someone's fence, you destroy some kind of pole, you lose maybe $10, $15. You crash into someone's car going 40 miles an hour, the game continues to go. Nothing happens, you just lose like 15, 20 bucks. It's nothing. But here's where the game draws the line. When you commit homicide, and get this, when you run someone over at 50 miles an hour and basically squash them, I mean you obviously kill them, it's not called murder. This game calls it a traffic violation. Oh, you ran into some guy and smashed him into a building? Traffic violation, get off the road, you silly goose. You're gonna need to take a five hour driving course before we can put you back on the streets. And for how jerky and awful the driving is, the camera is possibly even worse. The camera just jitters all over the place. Sometimes your truck just kind of disappears for a second and then reappears like 15 feet ahead of where you were. I don't get what's happening. I guess there's some kind of teleportation device in the truck. The actual gameplay has you stopping, having one of your garbage men get out of the truck, pick up the garbage, throw the garbage into the garbage truck, Bring the garbage can back to where it was standing, and then get back in your garbage truck, and then you cue your other guy to keep driving after you do this. And you do this, give or take, 500,000 times, because that is the extent of what you do. That's how you make money. With every little garbage pickup, you make maybe 5 or $6 or something like that. But of course, you lose all that money because you keep crashing into the cars in this Leave it to Beaver neighborhood. This game is just plain abysmal. After picking up about 10 or 20 garbage cans, I was just bored to no end. I mean, I can't take it anymore. It's the same thing over and over. I mean, I complain about a lot of games being repetitive, but this is seriously the most repetitive thing you can do. All you do is pick up garbage, throw it into a garbage truck, and repeat. Rinse and repeat without the rinsing.
I mean, this game claims that it's not a game. It's a simulation. That's how it excuses itself. Oh, it's a simulation. Well, first of all, it's a horrible simulation. But second of all, you can't say you're not a game because you're a simulation. That's like saying a basketball game is not a game because it's a sports game. No, sorry. This is a sport, not a game, because we're playing basketball in it. A simulation is just a genre of gaming. You control a character in a virtual world. That's the definition of a video game. I mean, if you're gonna argue it's not a game, then what's the point of a garbage truck simulator? Is this gonna be like a training course for aspiring garbage men? Of course not! This controls nothing like a real garbage truck. I mean, I know I've never ridden a, a real garbage truck, but I've seen garbage trucks and they don't jerk about and crash into every other car on the street. There's like so many things wrong with this game, I can't even mention all of them. Like, I have to constantly keep changing the camera angle. Every time you stop and get out of the truck to pick up the garbage, the camera switches to this weird top-down view. And a lot of the time, the environments like trees obstruct your view. And you have to constantly change your camera angle to make the truck a little more driver friendly and keep in mind it's like never driver friendly but if you're not driving it with the camera being behind you it's almost impossible like you don't even know which button is left and which button is right when the point of view of your garbage truck is changed like seriously the only redeeming thing about this game is there is an exit game button Like, I seriously don't understand who this game appeals to. You play games to escape reality, not go into a blander reality than your own world. I mean, the insurmountable number of things wrong with this game can fill an encyclopedia. Look at the AI of the drivers in this game. Is that a truck or a chicken with its head cut off? And it disappeared. Okay, well, that's my cue to go insane and drive off into the wilderness. I don't want to be a garbage man anymore. That's it. I can't take it. I'm now going to be a hermit out in the outskirts of these salt plains. I will begin a new life. I will convert my garbage truck into a little fort. And I will live amongst nature. Never to cause another traffic violation slash homicide. I mean, really, it's impossible to enjoy this game just collecting garbage. After five minutes of the tedium that is collecting garbage, you just have to drive around aimlessly and crash into things and run people over. That is the extent of this game. You go insane with boredom and start destroying public property, cars, and people. I don't even know if I need to point this out, but the graphics are absolutely abysmal. I mean, this is graphics from like 1998. This could be the first Sims game. In fact, I think this is the first Sims game. This is probably like the expansion, the unofficial expansion. Remember like when the Sims would go off to work, but you never got to see what they actually do? This is what they did. They would drive around their Sims neighborhood, crash into cars, and collect garbage. And I absolutely love how crashing into cars and destroying public property costs like $15. I mean, if you've ever even been in a fender bender, you know that you're going to be out like hundreds of dollars, not just petty cash. Hey, mister, you got any garbage? Sir? Garbage? You just put the garbage over here. Hello? Oh, you son of a bitch. All right, you know what? I have a new mission now. I must get into the garbage truck and run that rude man over. Ignoring a garbage man is a federal offense. Stupid bastard taking a stroll in his neighborhood. I'll show him. Let's just take about 30-40 minutes to start this truck up, and we're gonna find him. Let's see, where is he? Probably went right. Come on, Grandpa. I know you're here. Come out and play. Oh, there he is. You see him right there? The guy with the white hair to my left? Oh, perfect. Oh, that's right. We're about to uh, get a traffic violation right here. <laughs> and if you weren't paying attention, I'd just like to direct your attention to the bottom right of the screen here. The penalty for killing that man was 50 euros. Garbage truck simulator for the PC gets an official Stan Bergman rating of a 
5 out of 10. I urge you to try this game out and see for yourself what a horrendous travesty it is. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.